My foundation farted on my face. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a fun makeup challenge. I'm going to be doing the full face of makeup using just my fingers or my hand challenge. I know that this is not a new challenge. It has been around for a very long time. Several YouTubers have done it, but I just thought I would give it a try. Um, I don't think I've done my makeup with my hands in a long, long time. So I'm excited to just try it and see if I can work it out, make something good come of this. So if you are excited to see me do a full face of makeup using just my fingers, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. My AirPod is at 17%. Ew. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go into my brows. I am a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I can't even use like a brush to brush my brows up, so. Oh God. I contemplated not doing my brows like at all and just doing a gel, but I'm not, I'm gonna do them. So I'm going in with the ABH Dip Brow and I'm going to try to just put them on pretty thick and then carve it out with the concealer. Do you know what I mean? Lighter in the front. <laughs> oh my God. This literally is the most like frightening um, challenge I think I've ever done. Mm, no, that is not it. All right. First of all, why did I go so thick? It's fine. We're gonna clean it up and you're not even gonna notice that. <laughs> My only problem is going this way. <laughs> or doing it and then I have like really long nails on some of my fingers so I feel like it's going to be oh my god I messed up on that one like I'm just trying to follow my brow line and for anybody wondering I did wash my hands before this just in case you were wondering see so I'm able to like kind of clean up the top um the, the bottom is gonna have to be cleaned up with concealer they're definitely not gonna be even so all right those aren't the worst I mean, like, if you really look at them, they're pretty bad. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise, which is what I usually use to carve out my brows. I have, it's all over my hands. All right. This long nail, like these long nails are gonna get in the way of me like being able to see. I'm gonna get some of that concealer on my finger and try to like, oh my God, this is not working out. What if I like lift my eye? <laughs> actually not turning out the worst <laughs> that is something else I'll tell ya yeah that's what we're getting that's just what it is oh no I gotta switch hands <laughs> I'm so used to just doing it with a brush this one is gonna be so bad I feel like these did not turn out to be the worst brows in the world but <laughs> I gotta go back into the ABH dip brow. I also have a wet cloth here because I know I was gonna need it. And I just wanna put a little more right here. That is what we're getting. Also, look at that little squiggly back there. Hair. Oh. Oh. Brow gel. We're gonna skip brow gel. We're gonna skip brow gel. I don't think I can make that work. All right, so we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow primer and just conceal this. I do this with my fingers most of the time, so. This part's easy. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that powder to set <laughs> the eyeshadow primer. Not the worst. And I feel like I'm really like caking it one there. Putting way more on than a brush would for sure. All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now the eyeballs. So I got two items that I really think are gonna work. I believe that this one and this one, so this is the KKW Beauty um, Classic Palette. I just got it because I've had it and I've never used it, so I wanna use it. And then I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Shimmer Eye Glaze in Aqua Mama. So this is like a cream shimmer shadow. So I feel like this is gonna be easier to apply. I actually don't have a matte one. I was looking through my like um, cream shadows for like a matte one. I don't have a matte one. 
So I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here, this matte shadow. And I've, I've actually never done like my transition shade or anything with my fingers. So here we go. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna place it like on my lid and my crease, kind of like all over because I don't think that I could actually do like legitimate blending. And I'm gonna try to blend that out and up into that setting powder. It's actually not terrible. Oh my God. My dry skin on my eyes is hating me right now. Like it's like really just dry. It actually isn't the worst job. I wanna bring it out here a little bit more. And what I did was as I went up, I kind of like lifted my hand so I didn't do as much pressure um, like I would an actual makeup brush. So I feel like applying this like brown color or all over like taupe, whatever color this is, um, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Now if I was trying to do like, I feel like if I was trying to do like, you know, something like crazy, like graphic liner look or half cut crease, something like that. I feel like I would have a much harder pro like time. And these shadows are surprisingly pretty buttery. So, I mean, they're blending out. They're blending out nicely. Good job, Kim. Came in clutch with the finger makeup. <laughs> All right. Ugh. God, that I hate though. Cause I even hate when I get my foundation on my hands. Like that feeling of dirty hands. I don't know why it bothers me, so. And I have four children, but the feeling of dirty hands, like I'm always washing my hands because I don't like when they feel dirty. Like I cannot be alone. Let me know because I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in with the Aqua Mama from Kylie Cosmetics. It's just this beautiful shimmer blue. I actually really love this. This one and there's two more that I really like. Like look at that. Ooh, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. Oh my God. Please don't be too crazy. No, dang it. Oh, it's coming off like a greenish. I went too far into my crease, but that's okay. I can blend that and make it work. I feel like I should have put some primer there. Oh well, I'm just gonna cake a lot on my fingers and just press it on the lid because what it's doing is it's like a sheer shadow. So basically like you can top it over all kinds of beautiful shadows or wear it alone. It's a very beautiful color. But when it comes to this, I'm able, because my fingers are warm, I do some shadows with my fingers, especially when it comes to shimmers, and I'm just literally popping it on there and just rubbing a little and then lightly tapping up here. Also, I apologize if anyone is offended that I use my middle finger. My husband has um, graciously pointed that out when I he was doing my voiceover. I'll put that video right here that I use my middle finger. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God, I don't mean it. The problem is I usually use a brush or something to get rid of the glitter, but we're just gonna have glitter everywhere. All right, so I'm going back into that brown color in the KKW palette, just to kind of blend up the crease. I'm gonna have to use like several different fingers so I'm not mixing my glitter into my brown. Cause I'm just trying to like darken without ruining my palettes. Oh, I put too much on and I have my moisturizer on so it's sticking. I feel like doing your makeup with your fingers is definitely achievable, but not desirable. Like if you're in a pinch, it'll work. So on top of there, because I feel like it's kind of just like a very blunt. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter color right here and I'm gonna just put it at the top if I can with my pinky to try to like blend that in a little bit more. Just to give it a little blend. Fingers are so gross. I hate dirty hands. I wonder if that's like a phobia. Dirty hands. Like if my kids' hands are dirty, like I don't wanna hold them. Like I love them to death. I do 100%, I swear. But I have a thing about dirty hands. They have to wash their hands. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna put the lashes on before I go to my face. So I'm gonna be using my lash glue, and I do this with my fingers, um, except for I usually apply my lashes with tweezers. 
but I figured I couldn't do that because it's technically cheating because it's the tool that I use. It's not a brush, but it's the tool. I'm also not doing mascara because there was no way. I can't do brow gel, there's no way I'm doing mascara. Sometimes I have to remember I can't sing because I'm gonna get copy striked. Hmm. Not bad. Just wish I had my tweezers to be more precise for where it places, but my nails come in clutch, so, cause they're long. You guys excited about Christmas? I wasn't at first. Like I just really wasn't into the holiday spirit because like everything going on in 2020 and like my life right now. But then I just started really realize, <laughs> then I started realizing one, there are people out there who have it way worse than I do. Um, some of them passed away. And two, it's just not worth, like 2020 has already taken enough from all of us. I'm not gonna let them take my favorite holiday. So I am in the mood for Christmas and I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Santa to come. I'm just so excited. I'm excited for my kids. I'm excited for my husband. I'm excited for all of us. Steven got a new job in October. I don't know if I told you guys that, but he got a new job in October. He was unemployed since March. Um, it's been a long road, 2020 has. Um, so he got a new job and um, so it's, it's been good. It turned out good. 2020 turned out okay. I mean, I still wouldn't relive it, like for sure, but I can't complain. We're, we're alive, we're healthy, we're working. All right, so now that I did that, like I look good, like this looks good. All right, I'm done. I'm not doing anymore. No, I have to. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my primer and then today I'm using the e.l.f. Lumi Luminous Putty Primer. I'm trying to use products that I have that like maybe I don't use much of um, because like there's, I have so many makeup products. I just have so many. And I'm always buying and like I know like sometimes people are like, that's too much, but you have to think about like, I have to stay up to date, I guess you could say, in the new things. It's just part of part of the package of doing what I do and then once I declutter like all my stuff goes to a very loving and caring home I have a lot of females in my family a lot like I have five sisters so if that helps you guys out a little bit I usually buy this with a beauty blender by the way I know most of my primer gets applied with my fingers but funny enough this one I usually apply with a beauty blender gotta roll my sleeves up for this one. Oh god I hate this so much this is making it's just cringy I'm going in with foundation. So today I'm using the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid and this is in the shade Warm Medium. I think this one might be too light for me or too dark, I don't remember. Oh God. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna just do it like this so it's not on the back of my hand and yeah, it's a little light. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> my foundation farted on my face. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ew, my God. It's too yellow. <laughs> I would do. Oh my god, oh my god, I did too much. I did too much. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Right, I'm gonna try to like do it like moisturizer. But I think I did too much. Oh my god. Bang, bang, bang. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm trying to pull some of this from my nose right here to like my ears and stuff because I definitely put way too much foundation on my face. Like I feel like this could have worked out if I didn't do that. Oh no. Okay. Careful the brows. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go back in with my eyeshadow. I put way too much on my nose. Probably that was an excessive amount. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but like for real, <laughs> it's so much. Oh, and this is not my color. 
It's as good as we're getting it, man. I feel like I just I'm like a beauty blender. What if I just could get rid of some of it? Uh. <laughs> oh my god! It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right. So I'm gonna go back in with the ABH dip brow real quick, just to try to fix what I jacked up. Oh God, I might as well just leave that alone. I feel like it's not gonna work out in my favor. Yep, it is what it is. All right, trying to go back in to fix that brow because I got a lot of foundation there. But I feel like it just is what it is. It's so much, like I can feel it just like sitting on my face. We're gonna go in with concealer. Oh my god. Like some places have so much and then some places like you can still see my skin underneath. I'm gonna go in with very little. I'm going in with the ColourPop concealer. Very little. And we're gonna do do do. And I'm gonna just, okay. So the chin didn't turn out so bad. Oh god. Okay, okay. So far so good with the concealer. Haven't gotten my under yet. That has like a crap ton of foundation. Oh, I have to be careful around my eye because I feel like I don't want to be pulling and tugging. All right, we're going to come over to the last one. I actually have to put more concealer over here. That's weird. Just a smidge. Just a smidge, a smidge. I don't know why I changed my voice like that. What's wrong with me? I feel like my face is so warm right now. Oh, God, I hate how that feels. All right. All right, so we're gonna go into some setting powder. I'm going in with the Kylie setting powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm just gonna do it lightly because I feel like if I do too much, it'll really cake it on. With my fingers being warm, this will help blend it in there, but I don't wanna have it like stick to certain spots. So I feel like we have to be very careful. Okay. Still not my foundation color, but worse again like there's so much around my mouth I'm gonna take this and just take this off Ugh. Ugh. moving on so I'm going into the Fenty bronzer um, I did not have any kind of cream bronzer probably should have set my whole face with powder so that this did not stick like this to my foundation so the problem is with doing your makeup with your fingers is the heat from your finger and your face is gonna like just melt that product in but like too quickly <laughs> okay it's not the worst but we're moving on i am trying with this bronzer it's not working for me i feel like i'm wasting more than i'm using i'm just trying to draw it from here and then blend it out this poor side of my face is suffering i'm telling you it makes my hands way more tired than using a brush does so now we're going into blush. I did get a cream blush. This is the Fenty Beauty cream blush. So I have, and this one is in the shade Cheeks Out. I do have a lot of ColourPop ones, but I wanted to use this one because this one is way more pigmented. Way more pigmented. And it blends a lot easier. So I'm gonna just dab, and it does not take a lot for this one. Like this one's almost like a lip gloss. Like it's, that's how creamy and smooth it is. Look at that. Still never really used my finger with it, but I felt like it would be the best option. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. We're just gonna have a lot of blush today. It just is what it is. I need to get that hairline in check. <laughs> right? Woo! We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So the next step is going to be highlighter and yes I cheated again I got a liquid highlighter and this is in the shade Sin from Urban Decay. I'll put some dots. Yes. So I usually use a liquid highlighter um, underneath for just like a brighter shine or on no makeup like no base no foundation just to do like my natural skin a little glow. It just gives you know when you're not wearing any makeup it just makes your skin look really good. So that's where I usually, and I usually do it just like this too. Put it on my cheek and just kind of blend it out. Definitely not as blended as I wish, but um, it's not the worst. Okay, 
Now let's go to our under eye. I'm gonna go in with that tan color right here and just go get some in there. Actually, I'm not gonna shimmy. Yeah, I am gonna shimmy. I'm lightly shimmering, shimming, shimming, shimmering. I'm lightly blotting and lightly swiping. I don't wanna pull on my eye and cause me to have wrinkles. If you guys could see my face up close, it's disgusting. I don't know if this foundation is any good for my skin. It's like down here. I don't know if you can see it. I did my best. I did my best. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer color right here so I can pop that in my inner corner. I've decided to bring it up because I accidentally put way too much in this corner. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. So I've decided to go into mascara because I hate when my bottom lashes are not, um, don't have mascara on them, so I'm gonna put it on my finger and try attempt this. All right, so I'm trying to go in with the mascara. This actually isn't the worst. I just don't feel like it's really, I mean, I feel like I'd be here all day. I'm just gonna get some more. I feel like this is not doing anything. Like it's slightly doing something, but it's not gonna do what that brush would do. So we're going into the second to last item, which is lipstick. So I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Sherbert. This is an ultimate something or other. I don't know. I got it from Sephora a while ago. But it's in Sorbet. Just getting some on that fingertip. I just want to try to make it as even as possible. I just don't want to look like I have a swiggly line. It's not bad, but it's, it's horrible. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not even. I just didn't want it to look like I squigglied. Yeah, I did my best. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I never thought in my life, but you wanna know what? It's 2020, we're doing everything crazy. <laughs> All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you like this look I created with only using my fingers and my hands. I don't think I did the worst job ever. You guys might disagree, so comment below and tell me, don't even tell me if I did good or bad. Just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Just let me know in the comments, yes, no. How did I do? I don't think I did that bad. I think that it was probably the hardest challenge I've ever done. It made my hands feel really nasty, like I cannot wait to get out of here and go wash my hands. But it's not the worst makeup look I've ever done. I've done worse with Dollar General makeup. So, so make sure you comment below and let me know how I did. As always guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, if it made you laugh, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.